how to fix Valorant Unreal CEF subprocess.exe error on PC. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel App Guide. In this video, I will show you how you can fix Valorant's error that is Unreal CEF subprocess.exe on Windows. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Now, very first thing, of course, you want to do is you want to make sure that you have closed the Valorant or the Riot Games launcher. So just go ahead and close Riot Games launcher. If you're not sure if it's closed, from the bottom right, you can see the system tray icon. Just want to click on this tray icon and if you see vanguard just right click on it and then choose the option called exit and once you exit out of vanguard or riot games launcher you have to allow an app to firewall and for that you have to open up your search windows and then just type in firewall and network protection so you can see over here that says firewall and network protection this is the place where we want to go just click on this option once you come to this option over here you'll basically see this kind of interface where you'll be able to see many options but what you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and then here you'll find the option that is allow an app to firewall right at the very top you just want to click on allow an app to firewall and as you do that first of all this is grayed out right so what you need to do is just click on the change settings option from the top right and now you can make changes here you simply want to locate Riot Games, Valorant or any of the Riot client services that you see over here. So scroll and then look and find those options over here. So in this case, I'll just find them. And once you find those Riot client and everything else, you just want to just click on the allow another app and then just hit the OK button. In case you don't find it, then you can just choose the option called allow another app. And then you can locate the place where your Valorant is installed and then just hit the open button. And then you'll be able to click on the add button as well. And last but not the least, what you want to do is you just want to come to let's say settings application again. You want to go to Windows Update and then ensure that you have updated your disk to the latest version. Hope this video helped you. If it did help you, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have got any more questions, feel free to also leave them down. Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video.